Training and Development Manager here at Heritage Industries. I've been here now for approximately 17 months. It is the best job I've ever had. Bye bye. 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 Heritage uh, was originated back in 1967 by 13 mothers who all had uh, children with impairments uh, could actually see that the community offered nothing for their children's futures. So they opened up a, um, a women's auxiliary and started selling cakes uh, at a cake store in town underneath the Gambia Hotel veranda. That grew and uh, some of the women uh, were crafty so they started making crafts. And then there was a mother of one of the children that used to go to that craft shop owned this land. And in 1977 she gifted the land to Heritage Industries. They came up here and started to expand into wood. Uh, things have just grown since then, but in the vein and continuing the vein of those women began this company in the first place. Heritage Industries is here specifically for all people with impairments throughout our society who can get meaningful employment and therefore fulfil a meaningful life by working with us and in turn we pay them and in turn they put the money back into society. We print ribbons, we print sashes, we print anything we can get our hands on, t-shirts, hats, you name it, we'll give it all a go. Boxes for the wine box. Bottles of wine. Uh, if you like to turn around over there, there's some school ribbons on there. A lot of the guys that we have here have impairments that are far beyond uh, just training problems. And at the end of the day, uh, they have nowhere else to go, no one else will employ them. This is some of the timber that we, we do down the back. They, the, the employees dock and they have to stack it and they have to put the stickers on and grade it. Joe does a lot, does a lot of this, uh, but we use this area here as a training guide for them. That's why this timber is here to help them learn the good quality from the second grade quality. Yep. And we bring them up here if we we see that they they're putting second grade into the first grade. We bring them up here, run them back through the grading again, just give them a 10 minute refresher, and take them back off down, down, down the back to continue working. age groups between 25 and 55. Um, the family has passed on, uh, passed on their, their duties to other people and the support system f directly from the family is not there. What are you doing here, Nola? Can you just... Uh... Um, we're just getting our lunches ready with the orders that Sally's sorting out. 
Um, we're having hamburgers today, so we've got 29. Tuesdays and Thursdays is a cooked one, which is um, usually like sausages and veg or apricot chickens this Thursday. Um, today's hamburgers. Monday and Wednesday we usually just have salad rolls. Fridays we've just introduced toasted sandwiches as well as pies, pasties. This is an air docker and simply it works by pneumatic. The, the dropping head is controlled by air. Now Troy has a choice of two sets of buttons. The green button's just above the head or the two silver buttons which he's using because of his height. This machine is set up ergonomically so if a person cannot reach high, let them reach down to their hips to operate the machine. Now, it was originally designed to ensure that people can't hurt themselves on the machine but still have the experience. So, it's now actually looking as if it's going to be going right, right through the whole TV industry. series of cleans. They're only short, but then they're glued together in a brick-like fashion and then squeezed together and held until they're cured. Now, this type of wood is used in roofing beams in large factories, etc. And it is, from what I understand, approximately eight times the strength of the standard wood. Putting together some toys which we're going to supply to the uh, local community at the uh, annual show. Now, the timber industry has asked us to join them and look after their kids' corner and in turn what we're going to do is uh, supply the kids. Originally they asked us just to supply wooden nails and uh, we thought well perhaps we could up the ante a little bit and give the kids something interesting to do. So we made toys. Last year we did carts and trains, this year we're doing planes and Humvees. Most of the families um, would would echo exactly what I'm saying. What's important is that my son or my daughter has a lifestyle, has something to look forward to, something to do. I got a letter yesterday from a parent. I don't want my son to feel lesser. All I want my son to do is to come to work and feel as if he's needed and wanted. To feel as if he has a reason for being. And people can sit outside of the square and they can say, yeah, they're up there for the funding, that's all they're there for, they don't really care about those people, now, those people can't do anything anyway, so it's all about funding, they're all making matchsticks, and as you saw today, that is not true. What's most important to those guys is not their money, they'll have days off left, right and centre, it's not the money, it's the lifestyle, that's what it's about.